welcome back. Hi, hello, and good afternoon. It's four o'clock, which means it's time for today's Happy, Happy birthdays. birthdays. Right, let's get out our post bag and see what wonderful cards we have from all of our friends and our family. Oh, is there any in there for me? It's not your birthday, is it? Nah. Well, then there won't be one for you, will there, silly Billy? But we do have an amazing card here for Emily Jones from Chester. Wow, Emily, three Disney princesses. Well, Emily is seven today, and Mummy, Daddy, Sister Rose, and Floppy the dog all send their biggest cuddles and squeezes. <gasps> cuddles, cuddles and squeezes! Oh, I love cuddles and squeezes. Happy birthday, Emily. And speaking of things I love, check out this brilliant football card! Goal! Goal! <laughs> and this is for Andy Stevens, who's going to be turning 10 today, and he'll be celebrating with the rest of the Hyde Dragons Under 11 football team. Then later, it's out for pizza and chips and lots and lots of cake Yay! with Mum, Dad, and the rest of the gang. Come on, you dragons! <laughs> And if we haven't read your cards out today, boys and girls, we're super, super sorry, but a huge happy birthday from us. We hope you have a magical day, whatever you're doing with it. Absolutely. Now, speaking of magic, it's time for our competition, where one lucky winner will get a chance to take a spellbinding visit to the magical world of Harry Potter. Yes! I love Harry Potter! <laughs> Me too! And all you have to do at home to enter is design your very own Easter egg! Egg! Exactly! Oh. All you have to do is head over to our website, mm -hmm. print off your Easter egg template mm -hmm. and get creating your design! You could use paints, pencils or even cast a magical spell! And if you don't have access to the internet or your very own magic wand, that's okay. All you'll need is an A4 piece of paper to draw your egg shape, then give it some funky, <gasps> funky designs, and you can send your excellent creations to us right here at the Vicky and Nathan Coffee Club. PO Box 4, Media City UK, M52NB. And we will be announcing the winners right here on this very show on Easter Sunday! <gasps> exciting stuff, Nathan! Well, I think that's everything from us today, boys and girls. Oh. All we've got left to do is say our goodbyes. So, I've been Vicky. And I've been Nathan. And, and we'll, we'll smell, smell you later, later alligator. In, in a while, crocodile. <laughs>Now whilst 2020 saw a lot of stressed parents juggling home learning with remote working, it's also brought about some huge developments in digital solutions within the education sector. This widespread switch to online schooling wasn't the easiest transformation for many, but it has had some great positive results and engaging experiences for our children. So moving forwards, as we grow more comfortable and confident with the rise in the use of apps and hybrid learning, it's likely that teaching will continue to make use of digital technology for the foreseeable future. However, with this comes new challenges and developments. So in this episode, we'll take a look at some of the most challenging aspects for teachers, parents, and of course, the children.